What's up guys, it's Brian from Hashware Hub. It is about 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, January 3rd, 2018. If you used to watching our videos, you could probably hear that I got quite a cold. I actually have the strep, but uh, i have taken those good medicines <laughs> and um, I'm coming back. So, sorry, sorry we haven't been around. We made a previous video earlier today, but I think there was about a day where we weren't really making videos because, um, yeah. This is the best I've felt in at least uh, 48 hours. <laughs> and my voice is all screwed up. So, anyway, hopefully it doesn't come doesn't come across too bad on the on this YouTube video. But what are we looking at? We're looking at BitConnect X. BitConnect X. Everyone's up in arms. What is it? What isn't it? You know, what do we do with it? What don't we do with it? It's an ICO. So we know that much about it. It's an ICO. So for those that don't know what ICOs are, it's initial coin offering. So think of an IPO, initial public offering, that's normally done on the traditional markets. An ICO is basically the same thing but in the cryptocurrency world. So six days, one hour, is 56 minutes, and 46, 45, 43, you, gotta, you, gotta, you get the point, 40 some odd seconds. And... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, nobody really knows what's going on here at all. None of these links up here are working. Or maybe they are now. No, they're not. I don't remember the little hand being there before. No, nothing, none of this here is working. So, <clears throat> we can only speculate. And my best, my best speculation would say is that this is going to be a decentralized exchange. If you remember their roadmap that Bitcoin, excuse me, BitConnect, uh, BitConnect uh, made with the, the the roadmap that they put out there, they were talking about a decentralized uh, exchange sometime in 2018. Now that makes sense because in order to go ahead and do that, you got to start your ICO well in advance if you're going to have an ICO. And here, obviously, it, it, it appears that they are going to have an ICO. Um, so. You know, it kind of makes sense that that's what they're going about and they're doing. If that's the case, if this is going to be an exchange, a decentralized exchange, which kind of makes sense with all the tax regulations or tax laws, regulations, and all sorts of other stuff going on and how governments are trying to, you know, get their hands around everything cryptocurrency related, it kind of makes sense. Also, at the same time, you have a lot of hackers that are, really attacking these these exchanges I think uh, Poloniex was attacked recently for like 30 million or something like that so yeah I mean there's definitely need for it a decentralized exchange would be huge that would be awesome probably first of its kind or one of the first of its kind and I would not be surprised if they then go ahead and they use their BCC coin uh, like uh, what is it Binance I think it's Binance um, does. I would not be surprised if they do something like that. It'd be pretty cool. What I do feel is kind of interesting is that they're using Litecoin, uh, which is not that common as a funder for ICOs. But that's kind of cool. I like Litecoin. I like Litecoin a lot. Especially when Bitcoin fees are so high. <laughs> so, But if you got BCC... You know, big uh, big connect coin, uh, then you're good to go. That's why I've been telling people to uh, if they find that this type of program, like uh, uh, the big connect program, is something for them, with that fits within their risk tolerance and fits within their portfolio, then yeah, why not give it a shot? I have, and I know a lot of other people have too, and we've been doing quite well to say the least. So. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at you know before we even do this let's take a look and see where Bitconnect Coin actually is. Okay, four hundred thirty six dollars up point two point nine percent. I know we had a huge leap up the other day, but I mean it's the twentieth largest coin. It's pretty big, really big. So, yeah, I know I had this big dip and I knew it came back up. That's pretty cool. 
you know, it's it's bigger than some of these others like Verge and Steam that everybody always talks about and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's got a lot going for it. So let's take a look at what are we getting paid out recently? Recently, 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 recently. All right. So, uh, yeah, we got 1.51%. That's pending right now, 0.4 was prior. Yeah, I mean, the interest rates have been a little bit lower on average across the board. But um, already, already the 30-day average rate is coming up. I think it was as low as 0.8 or 0.81. I don't remember offhand, but, I mean, you know, even if he did, like, let's say a $500 loan, 30 days, I mean... You're not going to beat that. 25.5% ROI. That's in 30 days. And that's not including compounding. If you compound it, the returns are much, much better. Much better. So, yeah. I don't think there's really much more else to say about this than what I said. But um, let's just, uh, I guess, have to hold our breath for the next for the next six some odd days until... We get an idea of what this thing actually is. And then once uh, we have an idea, a much better idea of what it actually is, then obviously we'll make a video and we'll let you guys know at least our thoughts. But right now it looks like it's an exchange. So decentralized exchange. So with that said, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave us any questions down below. Speak to you.